going guys this is Carl and today I just wanted to share a few more chips from my poker chip collection so whenever I travel around I try and take a one dollar chip as like a souvenir and so all of the ones I discussed in the past videos I already took out but I still got you know a few more stacks of random uh, poker chips so I'm gonna pick out five random ones and uh, tell you what I remember about those particular casinos so let's go with the first one Hyatt Regency, Lake Tahoe. So this is on the north side of Lake Tahoe. Yeah. Lake Tahoe. Um, so most of the casino resorts are down in State Line near uh, South Lake Tahoe. But this one's on the north side. And uh, I remember I was playing a 10-20 minute Omaha 8. And... Yeah, I don't really play that game much, but it's kind of fun because you you know there's two sides to go for the low and the high, so it's kind of fun to mess around. And then I think they had like a like a one two no limit game. Just played that for a little bit, but I think this is like the first time I like stopped here. I've been like on the south side. Uh, they've got Harvey's, but um, they usually have no limit down there, but. I just checked to see if there's any other rooms. I'm pretty sure this is the only other poker room that, that spreads cash games in the Lake Tahoe area. So, worth checking out. And yeah, uh, Lake Tahoe is really beautiful. They got skiing, they got water sports, little beaches, hiking. So, I I love the Lake Tahoe. I think it's definitely a cool area. And you can even play poker if you want. Let's get another one. Horseshoe Hammond. Indiana. So this is the biggest room in the Chicago area. So yeah, um, it's actually a boat out on the lake. So it's right if you go south, uh, all right across the Indiana Illinois border. I'll get the horseshoe Indiana. Pretty big room. Um, it's kind of a far walk from the parking garage, if I remember right. But um, I think they had like, you know, one, two, two, five games. I think they had PLO running as well. And I think they had a fair amount of games running. But, um, yeah, if you're in Chicago and want to play poker, I think this is going to be the best bet. Probably the biggest variety of games. They have some smaller rooms in the Chicago area. But uh, Horseshoe Hammond, I think, is the, the biggest. And I think that's uh, like a circuit, WSB circuit event that goes through there. So if you're into tournaments, you know, that's maybe we're going to want to play. Alright, let's do another one. The 101, Casino 101. So this is uh, North Bay, north of San Francisco. Um, my friend's actually a tournament director here. And uh, I think they have cash games. They had like one, two, two, five. I think they had PLO as well. Um, only played there for a short while, but. And if you go up like another half hour, 45 minutes, you get to Grayton, which is like the, the newer, newest poker room up there. So, yeah, it's, not, it's like right off the, the freeway, so it's not like out in the, out in the middle of nowhere. It's just a couple of turns off the freeway easy access if you're in San Francisco or anywhere in the North Bay. So yeah, I mean, if you haven't been in the Bay Area, definitely there's lots of cool stuff to do up there. Wine country in the North Bay, and uh, I think it's like near woods, which is also pretty cool. Lots of these giant, giant redwoods, uh, and cool coastline, Point Reyes out there. Everyone camping as a Boy Scout at Point Reyes, that's one of my favorite, favorite places to camp. Really nice beach and everything. So yeah, let's go to the next one. Players Casino. Ventura. So this is Ventura is a little, a little bit north of uh, LA. So if you go up along the uh, coastline there, over into Ventura. And they got a pretty good variety of no limit games. Um, I think they've got like one, two, 
two, three, and I think they've got like a five, five game maybe. But uh, yeah, California is beautiful. If you've never been to the California coast, uh, definitely recommend it. So and if you're looking to play some poker, this is uh, gonna be your best bet in that area. So yeah, let's do one more. Sahara. This is actually a poker room that closed out here in and I got a funny story about Sahara. Uh, <laughs> my buddy Ryan, he uh, used to play blackjack a lot. I think he ended up winning like six thousand playing like uh, one dollar limit blackjack and I guess he was really drunk too but after that they always gave him like free rooms I guess they want to get their money back <laughs> so one time he came up with like a couple carloads of people as him and then like his brother the younger brother that was marine he came up with some marine buddies and they were down in the casino like drinking they had like one dollar shots I think and they let you keep the shot glasses so he had like a whole bag of shot glasses but I remember I was you know, like um I couldn't crash, like I went in the room and like all the beds were taken, like pretty much all the floors were taken, so I, I ended up like staying up all night. Um, and then when I finally got back, you know, there was like a free bed, so I crashed after two hours. Then we get woken up by security and they're sitting there like kicking us out. And apparently like um, Ryan's brother had gotten got in like some kind of fight or something and I, go, I walk out into like the uh, hallway and like uh, his brother's fighting all these security guards so it's, uh, it's, it's, he's taking on like three security guards and they still like can't really contain him <laughs> so that's pretty funny but then we had to end up like pack up and get out of there um, not sure if he ever got any more free rooms or not but uh, Sahara they actually closed maybe five or six years ago but then they remodeled it and reopened it as SLS which is you know right next to like um, Stratosphere North End um, but yeah it's just kind of a funny story and uh, the poker room it wasn't that big I think they just had like one two but uh good old Sahara and uh yeah, that was one of the one of the oldest uh, casinos that operated for a good like 50, 60 years, storied history. But yeah, Sahara Riviera, they are no more. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I am gonna start posting some more hand poker hand histories in my in my thread and my blog on two plus two. So there's a link in the description if you want to check that out and comment on my hand histories. Uh, it was good to get some uh, s some different opinions, some different views, see how I might be able to play better or think better about the game. And it's just fun to interact with all of you guys, you know, see how you play poker, see how you think about the game. So other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.